Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show, uh, usually a weekly show. It's been skipped a couple times where you guys can check out what I'm working on, what's new, and what's coming up. Um, so I've had sort of a hiatus from On The Paint Table because I've been working on finishing my manuscript for Osprey, um, which is done and submitted now. And I rewarded myself with a little bit of painting. So I painted some stuff for the Strike Zone Wotan campaign. I've declared myself for Yu Ching. So I painted up some new Yu Ching minis, um, primed and put together some more which aren't here, so I can't show them to you, but I can tell you what they are. <laughs> um, and I've got a bunch of other projects on the go too. So I lost stuff to dig out. I'm gonna show you some stuff that's done and some stuff that's coming up in the future. So let's start off with what I got finished. I finished my Sujan finally, who is sitting assembled, but not even primed for months and months and months. Um, this is a great, great piece removal unit for Yu Ching, uh, mostly because when it's in kitty cat form, basically when other models are standing up and going prone, this thing can transform from kitty cat mode to murder machine mode. Um, and it gets to go uh, eight inches cautious moving around and just sneak up on people and then transform into the murder robot and then scalpel people out with its Spitfire, which is rad. Like it's just a fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic isolation piece where you can sneak up on people where they can't shoot them back. Um, I grabbed a couple new paints. I'd forgotten how much I like the Scale 75 Metallics. So I grabbed a couple of their um, Dark Metallics. I think that's Black Metal uh, with a wash. And then I can't remember, it's the slightly less Black Metal <laughs> for a highlight. Uh, but yeah, Buttery Smooth Metallics, you're gonna get a chance to use them. The scale 75 stuff is great for uh, for the Metallic line. Probably the best Metallic line I've, I've used. Um, and then I painted my Hacktow HMG. Again, long time coming. Um, Dark gray base coats, washes, that scale 75 metallic stuff, and then picking out lots of highlights and glowy bits for a TO camo heavy infantry dude. Bases are by top down terrain. I'm almost out of these bases, unfortunately. So I'm having to pick and choose. I think I have six left. So I have to pick and choose what I'm doing next. I've got like the ISS starter, a Wu Ming link, or I can't remember what else. There's something else that I, I want to paint for my Yu Ching for Wotan, and I'm like debating which one it's going to be. Right now, I'm just finishing up odds and ends. Um, I have a Shen multi rifle uh, that I'm currently painting that's base coated, a uh, Yan Hao hyper rapid magnetic cannon that I'm, that's base coated that's going to get painted, um, and there's somebody else. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Knopf, because I really want to paint Knopf um, from the Outrage comic book, which you guys haven't read. It's fantastic. And there's one other guy who I can't remember right now, but those are the things that are currently sitting on my paint table. And the next project after that to reward myself is a game in a box, which is Rumble Slam, the game of fantasy wrestling. And the question isn't when I play this with Jay, whether or not uh, he's wearing a luchador mask, it's which of his luchador masks he's going to be wearing. Um, if you haven't checked this game out, it's by TT Combat. They make a ton of great MDF terrain. Um, I've, I actually don't own any of it. I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't say like, I, I, I know it's great. I love the designs. I, I don't actually own any of it. Jay owns some of it and he says it's great. Um, but they sent us this game, which is great, which I'm super excited about, um, <clears throat> which is um, the game of fantasy wrestling. So much like the game of fantasy football, there's tons of teams in this game. Uh, the star set comes with the heavy pounders, which is the humans, halflings, and an ogre, and then the green bruisers, which is orcs, uh, luchador goblins, and a uh, sort of hype man goblin, sort of, um, and a troll, which I'm super stoked to paint. So I'm going to paint these first. Um, and I'm going to paint the humans as well, but Jay's painting the humans for the box that he has. Uh, and we're going to give this a go. But I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, you guys are going to get a full in-depth review when we do the Let's Play, but... Suffice it to say that every trope from the 80s watching wrestling when I was a kid is in here uh, And it's pretty rad. It even comes with a neoprene ring so you can see here the box set like it comes with all the cards with the guys And the ring is, the ring is like a full-on neoprene like gaming mat um, I think TT makes a 3d ring as well too if you want like an MDF one It's like fully 3d, but I'm pretty jazzed with this as it is uh, to just like throw down and do some wrestling So we're gonna get these guys painted. Um, I have them mounted on sort of like interim 30 mil bases so that I can use them uh, uh, just like in hanging onto them or put them on the, I'll probably actually put them on the um, Death of Designs mini grips and then eventually transfer them to these which is cut acrylic. They're actually clear, there's a green laminate on them. Um, bases that they come with which is kind of neat which I've never done before so I'm gonna I'll fix them probably not with super glue. I'm probably gonna try and do it with white glue and a heat gun and we'll see how that goes. I'll have to etch up the spots where their feet are gonna go to get that to stick. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do it without getting it to frost. And so you go on the paint table's back. I think the last one these I did was actually before Kumani Expo, so I might actually not have shown you guys some stuff. I think I finished another Scores of Skirmisher and some Militia maybe? Some stuff for Dark Age that I haven't shown you guys? I don't remember. 
<laughs> there might be a few more missions in this since the last time I did the on paint table. I'll have to go back and look through my, my photos and on Facebook and stuff to figure it out. But I, yeah, it's it's nice to be painting again and actually have some time to breathe. Um, so I'm really so I think the cool thing is this Rumble Sand project. I play the game. I only have to paint ten models. I should really only paint five models because Jay's gonna paint five. But I'll paint the humans too, so I can show um, Owen how to play and teach it, teach him to play too because it looks like it's gonna be fun and silly, which is the best kind of game, and fast, which is the third best kind of game. Um, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about it, and I'm pretty stoked about all the extra stuff too because there's a ton of teams. It's all teams basically, like wrestling teams, uh, which if you ever watched wrestling like in the old days was like the thing that everyone's part of a faction or a coalition or something like that um, and there's tons of kind of like star players as well that are all tropes and when you see it oh my god it's great it's fantastic so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that i will see you on the paint table next week i'm gonna try and get these back going regularly on top of my new piece of ash duties every monday so you guys can see me probably work on some of this stuff then um, so we'll see you then until i'm ash happy morning.